So how to keep solo practice relevant? You would split areas of the court as, as the first stage of solo practice. So you'd be looking to play forehand drives down that forehand wall in a specific area, again, tailoring it to, to your level. You can time that period of time that you're hitting the shot or you can count how many shots you want to produce before you, you switch over, depending on your time frame. Everything's very specific to time frame. Amateur players don't have the luxury of six hours in a day to train. So if you're looking to even do 15 or 20 minutes to start with solo practice, it's going to be massively beneficial for you. So going back to the shot scenario, you would then work from say a forehand area to the backhand side, which you could play up in the front of the court while the ball's warm. That would make common sense to utilize if you were to play drop shots and short work while the ball's warm, because it gives you a more real life perspective on, on taking the ball in. Um, but we usually break it down to kind of six shots. So the forehand drives, backhand drives, forehand volleys and backhand volleys. Again, in the volleys, you can mix up taking it short and just repetitive volleying to length or single volleys to length, depending on what you want to be working on. And then obviously the front of the court with the forehand and the backhand drop shots. With the six shots that you're looking to, to, to train, you can be quite static, as I said, so you can do it from a specific position. Obviously at the, the back of the court, you are locked into those back corners to a degree. The front of the court, you know, you could be looking to be uh, quite forward when you're playing, but then you could break that down to, to actually bringing yourself further back into the court or even off the back wall, taking the ball short, depending on how confident you are and depending on your level of play. Um, there's so much variety you can do in the, in the front of the court and it makes it such good fun because obviously with variety, something where you're practicing on your own, the variety is very, very important depending on your mental uh, concentration and capacity. Not all of us like to kind of stick at one thing and in this day and age, that's uh, probably more relevant than ever. Um, but also moving on to the volleys, you can be practicing your volleys closer to the front wall, moving back to the middle of the court, getting around possibly behind the service box area. I wouldn't be suggesting any, any further than that than playing your volleys. And, and then moving around the court, taking the ball short from different areas of the court. So you can start to really make this very, very specific and, and, and quite um, advanced towards the way you're looking to play. Again, this is tailored to the different levels and what you want to do. There's another, another aspect which is really important with solo practice and, and this relates to anyone that's wanting to improve their game. If you have a certain injury or you're slightly uh, debilitated in a way, then a very static solo practice where you're not aggravating the injury is very, very productive time to try and keep improving your game. Okay, so this is something that, again, a lot of pros would be doing if, if they had a scenario where they weren't able to move. So, um, for instance, again, Rami Ashur posting loads of videos when he's been injured over such a long period of time, working on different skills in solo practice. So that's the relevant side of it towards kind of grooving shots for match play. But then you can bring into, into the solo practice ball skills, hitting into certain areas of the court that would be perceived possibly as not areas that you would play in a match, but this helps groove swing, it helps reflexes, it helps hand-eye coordination, builds discipline, and this is another really effective way to train with solo practice. So there's so many different options to do, and we're gonna be looking at a lot of those today.